guys, it is Monday, which means it's time for another video. This is a request given to me, and I feel like this was actually requested to me a long time ago, and I just never got around to watching it. Um, and thank you, Rye the Horror Guy, for giving me requests for movies to do, um, because it gives me different things to watch. And the movie I'm going to be reviewing today is Mirror Mirror from 1990. That's what I said on Tubi. Go check it out on Tubi. I feel like Tubi should just... I should just sponsor... Or Tubi should be a sponsor for my videos. Because I always talk about Tubi. Um, but... It is on Tubi. And... Like I said, I'm pretty sure... I don't know if you requested this to me a while ago. I just never got around to doing it. But previous review of Mountain Top Motel Massacre, you um, asked me to review this, and this is a first time watch, so I actually just got done watching it, that's usually what, when I do my reviews is right after I watch movies that I haven't watched before, just so I fresh my brain, it's not like a Friday 13th where I know everything in that film, but uh, this actually stars, I wouldn't even say stars, but um, Karen Black is in this. If you're not familiar with yeah, familiar with Karen Black, I did review the Trilogy of Terror movie um, like, a couple months ago, maybe. So check that out. And then Yvonne DiCaro, a.k.a. Lily Munster herself, is in this. <laughs> not really in it too much. Um, but I feel like with the, these like big stars back then, like, that's how they get the people um, interested. But this, I don't know, reading the synopsis, I wasn't really that, like, intrigued at all. But watching it was actually pretty good. It's funny because the first, like, 20 minutes, especially the one scene when they're at the dance, kind of reminded me of, like, a Carrie ripoff. And I don't know if anyone else who've seen, who has seen this movie and is watching this review have felt the same way during some... Even, like, the whole, like, premise, not... Obviously not the telekinesis and everything. That that obviously isn't in this movie. But basically, um, this mirror is making... A, I guess the girl is becoming part of them. Like, possessed in a way. And they got... Uh, I already forget her name. Um, Megan, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure her name's Megan. She's kind of like dresses all black, and I guess back then that was, um, not acceptable, I don't know, but a lot of people make fun of her, and she basically gets her revenge on all the people that have made fun of her, which reminds me of Carrie, um, and there's really no memorable kills, like, it's weird, because like I said, um, like, she's part of the mirror in a way, um, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen this movie, stop it, and go watch it, and then check out this review. But she does die in the end. She basically helps her her friend, the f person who actually, um, wanted to be friends with her. Which is kind of like a Carrie Sue Snell. <laughs> I'm totally not trying to make this into a Carrie comparison. But it just reminded, like, the whole, not the whole story, but a lot of the, um, like, uh, plot kind of reminded me of that. I don't know if they were intentionally trying to do that or it just kind of happened randomly. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail without ruining the whole movie. Cause I know some people like watching reviews um, and don't want the whole thing spoiled even though, like, I don't know. <laughs> but it's not terrible. Like, like I said, in, I was ex wasn't was expecting much out of it, because 90s, I don't know, the 1990s horror movies are a hit or miss, honestly. Um, there's another one that I like that came out the same year called Demon Wind, totally unrelated, but that's a pretty good one, too. Um, I don't know if this is on Blu-ray, and if it is, I might pick it up and give it another watch, just because, it, like I said, it wasn't a terrible movie. Definitely better than Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Let me tell you that this movie is a thousand times better than that movie. I can't stand that movie. But, um, 
yeah, that's really all I have to say about the about this. It's very strange to explain. I don't know. You'd have to watch it to understand. And the ending, um, the friend t- was talking to the meat and grain, asked a wish to for everything to go back to what it was. And in the beginning, it takes place like I don't know, like nineteen hundreds and uh, or nineteen fifties, and um this one sister killed her other sister and it ended up that this friend killed Megan. I, I don't, it was so strange and hard to um, comprehend, but, and then you see a glimpse of the monster in the mirror or demon in the mirror and it looked a little goofy, but honestly, this probably had like no budget. <laughs> so I give it a pass. That's really all I have to say about Mirror Mirror. Like I said, go check it out on Tubi if you haven't seen it before. Um, comment down below on this video and let me know what movie you guys want me to review. And I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys on Thursday.